When did I know I was a mathematician? Actually, that question is a little bit tricky for me. I kind of have a dual answer. I was aware that I was a mathematician in my university days, but in hindsight, looking back, I couldn't articulate at the time, I knew I was a mathematician as a kid. So, I've actually got a story here. In fact, there's one very specific incident in my life that I think is what made me a mathematician. When I was growing up, I grew up in, back in Adelaide, Australia, in an old Victorian house. And each room in that house had a pressed tin ceiling, so some, some pressed tin ceiling up, up above with floral designs on it. And in my bedroom, I had a particular design, which was all flowers and vines and things, but in the end, those vines just made the shape of a 5x5 five five grid of squares. Yes, there are flowers in the corner and vines and all the rest, but basically every night for 10 years of my childhood, I went to sleep staring at that. So what does a young kid do? Maybe me, in this case, obviously start playing games, uh, making little intellectual puzzles for oneself. And of course I did things like count how many squares there are, well, there are 25 little one by one squares, but I soon realized I could also count how many two by two squares there are. And I noticed that there are 16 of those. And how many three by three squares are there? Whoops, three by three. Turns out there are nine of those. Four by fours, four of those, and big five by five, one of those. And one thing that freaked me out actually about that, the counts, I said there were 16 two by twos, nine, four, and one, each count itself was a square number, which I found very freaky. But then I kept playing with this, and there's one particular puzzle that I think really turned me into a mathematician, one game I invented for myself. And the game was this. I imagine standing in, say, the top left corner of the grid. And my puzzle was, can I walk taking vertical and horizontal steps and visit every cell exactly once? And I can do something crazy like this. I think that worked. Or most people probably do something simpler, just do big zigzags. But yes, starting in the top left corner, I can definitely visit every cell exactly once. And I also realized, well, if I start in the top left corner, and that worked, it must also work for starting in the top right corner, because I could just turn the answers I had before, 90 degrees, and copy an answer. So I know all the corner cells would work. Then, of course, I imagine other starting places. What about the top middle cell? Can I walk a path visiting every cell exactly once? And I can see it in my finger. Yes, I did it. So that worked. Or if I start, say, in the bang in the middle, right bang in the middle, I could do a spiral. But then I started playing with other cells. Try this cell. Is there a path that visits every square exactly once? This one will actually draw it. So I'm going horizontal and vertical motions and kind of random at the moment. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And I can see I'm stuck. And I tried this in my mind's eye for night after night, starting at different places, and I found some places I could definitely get answers to, and other places like this cell seemed to be troublesome. Now, I must have been a weird child, because I didn't say to myself, it's impossible, I just said, well, maybe I just haven't tried hard enough. So I realized after a while that these cells were definitely yes cells. Yes, these had answers. This cell? Hmm. This other cell? This is questionable. Some cells were questionable. And okay, I was a strange child. I didn't say these were no cells. I didn't say it was impossible. The answer could be maybe I just didn't try hard enough. But I didn't have a logical reason why there were definitely no's, even though my gut told me it was impossible to find a path that worked for those cells. So that's a very strange way to think about that problem. So I must have been a mathematician early on as a kid, but I wouldn't allow myself to say, oh, well, I tried a few times, it didn't work. I want to know the logic behind it. And it took me several years. I remember one day as I was walking to school, I had an epiphany to explain logically why cells like this one were definitely no cells to the puzzle I made of myself. That joy of that epiphany, I think, is what really made me a mathematician. Now, of course, I didn't phrase this until the university days when I knew what mathematics was really about, but there it is. My childhood story is what made me math, a mathematician. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.